That video you try. Mm -hmm. You try well, well. Well, it's a boy again, Adam Slink. Welcome back to another crazy video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are doing very, very okay. That video you try. You finally succeeded in tricking many, many people, most especially the bloggers. Most of my steps too. You tricked me in believing that your Abuja show was flopped. But all the same, you tricked yourself. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain, guys. I'm going to explain. So yesterday was David Do show in Abuja. Yesterday was 14 uh, this, uh, December. It was David Do show in Abuja, and David Do tweeted, was making some uh, crazy tweet. First of all, he said, "Abuja, it be like say your people no one do show." Then he said, "Is this a prank? Is this a prank?" Because the video where we were seeing at that show yesterday, nobody did uh, stage. Nobody did uh, the concert grand. What did they happen? Now prank. Well, they prank David Do. But all this all, all, all the same, David Do was trying to prank everybody because he wanted all eyes to be on that show. He wanted all the bloggers to leave Whiskey show that was performing in Saudi Arabia, to leave any other issue, to focus on Abuja. Actually, he got the attention that he needed. The bloggers had started making fun of him, you know, all those uh, fans who are not supporting him, who, who think he, he doesn't deserve what he's getting, started posting, you know. His, his, his old fans also were yeah, defending you know, everything well, everywhere scattered yesterday. The David Do couple say Abuja joke. Abuja joke. Then he said it's about time you guys delete that tweet. Watch after I don't get the attention. And actually, the videos that we saw from Abuja that show, the show actually joke. Let's be honest. The show actually joke. Approximately, I think more than Close to ten thousand fans were there, and you know how much be regular ticket. Regular ticket are twenty thousand, and the other one fifty thousand. If you want to go closer to David, or fifty thousand, fifty thousand, and there there's a VVIP, VIP ticket, going from two million to five million to ten million. Because I was following the whole, uh, the whole uh, advertisement of that show. Money day. So then I decided to realize that okay, let us make this clear. Before an artist decide to approve a venue, so after they have approved the venue, before they decide, like decide to come to that venue to perform, it should be like five days earlier. Because most of the ticket must have been sold, at least 80% of the ticket sold, or 60% or 70% they are about sold. So that percentage of that ticket is enough to pay every musician that is coming there. It's enough to pay uh, the workers. It's enough the security to cover all the total cost. Before you said, okay, let me go there and then let us get the extra. So David, though they already did that calculation days before, they already know say that show was a hit. So that one may judge the tweet, eh? He judge the tweet and based on say one get attention. And again, guys, and again, get this straight. Get this straight. Let me do. Bloggers do not care whether your show is flop or whether it's not flop. They just want to make money. They generate traffic. So if you thought your show flop, oh, they go wrong, go there. Ah, the video show flop. If you also thought say the video show no flop, oh, they go see wrong, go there, say the video show no flop. So they go get a traffic here, they get traffic here. And those people want to cash crews, we get crews for here, they'll get crews for there. And those people want to buy bites, who want to gossip, we get gossip. So whatever you do, whatever the space you put it in, they will do. Eh? People will still derive whatever makes them want to even talk about what you are talking about. So ah, you say your, your show flop, oh, you surprise, oh, ah, people will still make money. But well, thank you though for speaking about that show yeah yesterday. It was not flop, it was actually really, really great. 
And whiskey also is enjoying its time in Saudi Arabia. 700,000 capacity. According to, I don't know whether it's possible, but that is what they said. 700,000 capacity is Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. You know how much that guy will collect for that show? For them, we do to leave his holiday or already booked for a show in Saudi Arabia. And then I don't know if, sorry, I'll say with David, whiskey. I don't know if whiskey will, uh, I don't know if whiskey will consider performing in Lagos. You know, it's normal tradition for Nigeria artists. David O. Bonaboy and so many other artists to always come to Nigeria during the summer time to perform in different, different venues. And so far, so good. We have not been seeing whiskey flyer moving around about somewhere it's about to perform at. I don't know why. Maybe it's not considering performing this year at all. Maybe he really wanted, he really want to really chill. He really want to really chill this year. So I don't know why. I don't know if there is any show of uh, the, uh, whiskey that is somewhere, that's somewhere. Let me know, guys, if there's any show at all that is about whiskey. And so what? Machala, they enjoy himself. That money, don't pocket up. Then move to the next one. Hmm? Move to the next one. Then let's talk about 6 9 6 9 girlfriend was seen assaulting him, beating him mercilessly, even destroying his car. Although, I saw the video and I kind of like held 6 9 You see, those musicians, eh, they are most vulnerable. When it comes to any allegations, ordinary people like us, we are not able to because we can easily deny. Nobody send us, nobody knows us. But musicians are mostly vulnerable. Any small thing like this, man, any guy accuse any musician of anything. Before you know it, the musician is already losing millions, millions on endorsement, millions on this, millions on that, millions on this. So it is extremely really really important that you just musicians be, be careful of the kind of women they bring around them and not just only that eh? please hold your camera just in case your woman is misbehaving there are cameras in your house there's someone close to you that's holding the camera because that woman can just make your life miserable just like this you know women easily get this off a woman will lie the case of one musician, they will discover that woman lied. Then the next woman can easily lie against another musician. They will just pick it up as if women do not lie. Well, six now, however, dragged this guy, dragged this this lady was arrested for domestic violence, and then she was booked and please, the male celebrities, the male entertainers need to start going further. Do not just relent. If a woman accuses you falsely, sue that woman. Sue that woman and get justice for yourself. Sue that woman and get justice for yourself. But they will just relax and be like, mm, you know what, I have so much things to do. I have so much things going on for me. You know, forget those things going on for you and sue that woman so that that woman will not go around making other people's life uh, miserable. So that the next girl that's thinking about making anybody's life miserable, we think twice. We think twice that, oh, I don't want to get sued. I don't want to get dragged to court over false allegations. Please, do it on behalf of other people, of other popular Please, do it on behalf of other popular people out there. We have seen so many numerous stories. And... <laughs> When you see someone with money and so much fame, you think that person is not vulnerable. They are the most vulnerable when it comes to nasty accusations. <laughs> because the public already, the public love them, expect so much from them, and a lot of people also dislike them as well at the same time, just as much as a lot of people like them. So they, some people want to see them fail. Some people want to see them happy. So it's vice versa. It's vice versa. It's crazy though. I wish them all the best. Huh? I wish them all the best. So six nine is a lucky one because he succeeded in recording that in that incident. 
and uh, <laughs> you should be grateful. You should be grateful. That guy should be sent to jail immediately. That guy should be sent to jail immediately. Immediately. Mm -hmm. 